good evening Facebook. Feels strange doing a Facebook Live in the evening. Normally I'm in the trading room. Um, I've actually got a webinar tonight. I've got uh, some property investors that I'm going to be talking to about trading. But normally in the evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm in with my swing traders in our swing room. So normally I'm doing these sessions in the morning before I do the morning session. So it feels a bit weird doing a, a Facebook a bit later. But I wanted to talk to you very specifically tonight about something that gets overlooked a lot. So we're going to talk about timelines. Uh, and we're not talking about time frames in terms of which time frames would you trade on, which time frames are best for day traders, which time frames are best for swing traders. That's something we can do on a on another Facebook Live, something I can do and show you some more illustrations actually on a chart, because I think that would be really useful. But tonight, this is really part one and something I'm actually going to do tomorrow. And I'm going to be going through some of my accounts. I'm going to be showing you some of the not only trades that I place, but some of the investments, all right? So I'm gonna continue this one tomorrow. This is essentially part one. So what we're talking about is we're talking about timelines or time scales, or another word that I want you to think about is your outlook, all right? So we're gonna be talking about it from an outlook perspective. So what is your outlook when you are trading and how long do you perceive to be in it? Because most people that learn to trade, most people that start to trade, if I said to them, right, so we're going to learn this skill, it's going to take you three months to grab, yeah, get your head around the basics and apply the basics, apply our four pillars, and then probably another three months to really ramp it up and get consistency. You're looking at six months. Once we get to that six month point, you're going to trade for three months and give up, yeah? And if I said that to somebody, people would look at me as if I was mad. They're like, well, no, I'm going to, the whole point I'm putting in this time and energy at the start is so that I'm gonna do this do this over the long term. Most people I work with wanna be in this for 10, 20, 30 years. But what's interesting is, in terms of their emotional response to winners and losers, or their impatience, very often what happens is their almost subconscious outlook or time scale starts to reduce to a very small period of time. So they expect within their first two weeks as a swing trader to be profitable, or they expect within their first two months as a position trader, they expect to be profitable. Or as a day trader, they expect to make money in their first couple of weeks. So what happens is, even though logically people are in it for the long term, if you ask them, they'd say that, often what happens emotionally or their perspective shortens and decreases. And a lot of times we've discussed this in our trading room and I've said, I think the reasons for this is, I think with trading, because you can make money very quickly, regardless of whether it's day, swing, whatever it is, because you can make money very quickly, I think what that does is that almost feeds that scenario that you have, which is that sort of short-term mindset. You know, we're very used to getting things very quickly. And you can be in front of your screens, and regardless of whether it's a market or a setup you're trading, you can look at a market, and 10 minutes later, it's moved up or moved down. So it's very easy to have that mindset of, well, I could have made money there, and I could have made money there. And sometimes I'll take two weeks to set up a swing trade. It might take me an hour's worth of time over those two weeks to eye that trade up. And then I'll go into that trade and I'm in and out of that trade within a day. Or I might take another swing trade. I can see Noreen's here. And Noreen's had times in our trading room where she's been in a trade for two or three months. So I can be in a trade and I've got no idea how long I'm gonna be. But if that trade happens and moves very quickly, or a trader over leverages, and this is the subtle one. So let's say a trader risks five, six percent on a trade and they get into that trade and it shoots up and suddenly they get a three to one winner. Well, suddenly they've made 15%. So what happens is it feeds that short term mindset that they think, well, I can be doing this every week. I can be doing this every month. I can be doing this every trade. Well, the fact is the market moved very quickly and also that trader was completely over leveraged in that position. So I think it's the the nature of the market and making mistakes and over leveraging that can feed that. But other things as well is the industry, the training industry. A lot of the training industry gets you to think that you can make money very short term. And you can. I've worked with traders that have come onto our Kickstart. A month later, they're in our, they're in our uh, trading room. And two or three weeks later, they're making money. Other guys, it takes a little bit longer to, for them to get used to it and get used to the methodology. And when they come in, they might start trading a strategy. And for the first month, that strategy is having a losing run. So for them, it's three or four months or six months before they start seeing some consistency. So I think it's really important to really think about your time scales and give you some tools to help you with this in a minute. So I think if we were to summarize in one simple process, what it would be 
is that would be this, have an investor mindset even if you're a trader. Now I don't mean you necessarily use the same tools as an investor because there's different approaches relevant to the type of trading or investing that you do. But I think it's really important to think like an investor in terms of having a longer term perspective. So regardless of whether it's my position based trades that I'll be in for around a month or it's my swing trades that can be over within a day or could be in for a couple of months. On both those scenarios, I'm having an outlook that's much bigger than that time period. So to give you a frame of reference, if you're a swing trader, you might want to be reviewing your data. It'll be a good thing to review your data every, probably every quarter, have a really good look at your results and get forensic with them. And we do this in our trading room all the time. So every quarter we go through all of the swing trading signals, we go all through people's trades and really make sure we get, get under the skin of it. But you won't make any changes on a quarterly basis because you've probably not had enough trades during that period. It's not a big enough data set for you to be making any changes. So for me, I'll only make any significant changes to what I do and the strategies that I trade on a yearly basis because then I've got enough data and a year is a decent enough time relative to how long I have been trading and how long I want to keep trading for for me to make a strategic change. So if you were day trading, for example, I would be looking at it as a day trader and saying, well, OK, I probably want to be reviewing my trades every month. But the challenge is with day trading is the short term nature of it is that most day traders will review where they are at the end of the week. And that's OK as long as their outlook isn't over that period of time. So they're not thinking after a week or two weeks, if they haven't made money, then there's something wrong with them or it hasn't worked for them. I see the same with people learning. People will be going through a learning process, they'll be putting their support and resistance lines together, they'll be learning a new strategy, they'll be combining their strategy and discretion. They go through it once, hit a roadblock, can't get it, and think, ah, oh, can't do this. Because what's happened is they've shortened their perspective. So it's really, really important, regardless of whether you are trading or going through the learning process to keep that perspective wide. So what things can help you with that? Really simple, a couple of things that can help is having enough data, on the strategies that you trade. And that doesn't necessarily mean you have to back test for a year before you start trading. Is you can tap into people like us, you can tap into um, traders who have got data. But what I would suggest is even if you're tapping into that data that you actively build that data up. So as you trade, collect your data going forward, build your data going back. And what that does is the more data you've got, naturally the bigger perspective that you have. So data is a really important one. Just learning the art of patience, that was just something for me. I'm generally an impatient person, whether it's business, whatever it is, but with trading, I had to learn to become more patient and it's helped me be more patient in other areas of my life. So actively pursuing becoming more patient, but also who you spend your time with. If you are around other traders, especially if they are trading similar strategies to you, if you're going through a winning spell, what will happen is, especially if there's a coach there as well, is they can keep a lid on your emotions and mean you don't get too excited or because you've had a 15% return that month, you're definitely, or you're, you're expecting that next month. So you don't get into that mindset of that. Um, and I think lastly, it's um, being around those people when, when you're hitting a losing run, because it's easy to shorten your perspective when you've had two or three losers and start asking questions like, does the strategy work? Is this gonna work? I know I should look at the data, but, oh, I'm a bit nervous, or it feels like I should be doing something different. Do I need to change anything? But if you're around other traders that are operating with a longer term perspective, that is gonna feed you, or you're gonna feed off that if you are around them. You will, you will start to behave more like them. If you're out there on your own, it's very easy for two or three trades to really get into your head and really start making bad, you, you end up making bad decisions as a result. So always remember, trading is a skill set and a mindset and the two work together. We were talking about this in the room, in, a, in my swing trading room last night. It's a skill set and a mindset and the two work together. So if you're working on your skill set, building up your data, that will help your mindset. If you're actively working on your mindset, that will bring more confidence to your skill set. Magic formula, having other traders who think the way you do and operate the way you do will help with that. So if you're looking for that and you're not already a member of TSC, then head to our website, just head to tradersupportclub.com, click on any of the blue start right now buttons, fill in your details, and that will give you access to free training, free workshops, we do free workshops every quarter, and it's the only place you can get my audiobook, Lessons from a Trading Room, it's the only place you can get it for free. So if you're not a member and you're listening to this, 
just head to traderssupportclub.com, sign up. If you are a member listening to this and you haven't been through our training, don't forget to check out our free workshops that are coming in Feb, but also our Kickstart program in March. We're filling up fast already for that. So head into your free membership. You'll see a banner for that. You'll see a little button so you can find out more information about what is included in the 28-day Kickstart, the whole structure of the program. It's all there for you. All right, that's all I've got for part one. What I'm going to do, we're going to do an on-screen part two where I'm going to show you some examples. I'm going to pull up my trades, pull up my accounts, and show you a little bit more nuts, show you more nuts and bolts about the whole idea of perspective and using big chunks of data to help you do it. So that's me. I'm out. Have a good evening. I like quite like doing these in the evening. They're quite good. Great. Cheers, guys. Take care.